Special correspondent James Brown is host of the NFL Today on CBS. He's in Washington. JB, good morning. Let's start with a reaction to this interview. Well, amongst the players, Charlie, uh, the reaction is mixed, to say the least. Um, pretty much what Mark Strassman said, there's a lot more yet to come with respect to this. Uh, I, I think it's safe to say that the relationship, as it's being played out in public now, was unorthodox, to say the least. Where do you think the moment of this story is right now? Because it's shifted and flown and, and new, new interviews come in and then new takes coming from different places. Where is the moment now? Charlie, it seems to me to have been a rudderless ship. Uh, the bottom line is the finger is going to be pointed at management and the kind of tone that they set and the kind of workplace environment that existed. That's the bottom line. The players are going to do and push the line as far as the tone has been set by management. And right now, in the early going, we're still with a lot more to be revealed. The finger is pointing at the kind of environment that management allowed and tolerated, maybe even encouraged. You, you know, Incognito said that using the N-word came from a place of love. That certainly has garnered some reaction. Uh, particularly amongst African Americans, uh, nor and, and many people have an issue with, with the other uh, racist elements, if you will. Look, race, religion, politics are all hot button issues. But the bottom line is there is no excuse for that at all. Period. Richie Incognito did apologize for that, but to say that it comes from a place of love, uh, I think that you and Charlie will both agree that that's not the kind of love that you'd like to see. And then, can I just ask you? Why is this story about something more than just two players who exchanged 1,100 text messages that were nasty? Why should the rest of us care about what's going on on these? Is this more than just two players? What, what's bigger about this story? Right. Good question. Nora, great question. The bottom line is whether the players want to be or not, they are role models. They do influence so many people, especially youngsters. So the manner in which and the tone and tenor of which they've been handling their relationships is being played out on the national stage right now, it will have an effect. And an influence. JB, thank you.